Hi guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate iOS 4 and 6 using Mobile Edit. So Mobile Edit is a very good and advanced 4 and 6 tool for both Android and iOS. Okay, it has logical and physical acquisition and data retrieval and of the deleted data. So it supports wide range of phones and not only that it's a password and pin breaker and camera ballistics we can integrate camera ballistics and photo recognizer and iCloud analysis and as well as a face matcher okay so now let me click, click on start and I have already connected my device so I have connect, I'm showing you on iOS 5s device so here we can disconnect the phone and we can also view the data preview and reboot in recovery mode and browse phone so let's see browse phone so we can also browse phone from here simply we can navigate here and we can check for all the data and all this information so here the device might be jailbroken or non jailbroken device we can extract the data okay so see we can also see this import option so like if we have any image files of the phones uh, both android and ios we can import them and if you have any backups we can import them and all those information so this is a physical image and we can also dump the itunes if you have backup and android backup and all those things okay so let me click on back so we can connect icloud so if we give the icloud username and password it's going to fetch all the icloud information and we can also make generate a report okay so now click on next so if you come if you see here filtering so we can filter by it started so i want to know this person from 2005 to 2000 2021 i can do that so i can do these things and i if you want to filter by contact we can also filter by contact if you want to filter by text string like such as some illegal words like drugs guns etc we can do that as well and filter the location so i want to know that specific location so whether the coordinates and all those things we can also filter by the location so in this case i'm not going to filter anything i'm just keeping everything so coming to see if you see here there are few options here so specific selections so let's see what it consists of so specific consists of like we can get the specific data like such as deleted if i want to retrieve only deleted data i'm going to select the deleted data or else if you want to only retrieve the contacts and the call logs on the emails I'm going to select this and click on next okay let me click on back as of now and coming to the full content it's going to get us the full data from the mobile and coming to the application analysis it's going to face the data from the applications which we install so such such as like Facebook such as like uh, we have whatsapp so we get we uh, so if I want to get only the data of the Twitter, I'm going to select this. Okay, so likewise we can also do the application analysis. So now I want to get only the retrieve the deleted data, we can also use this. And to get the only the device information, we can use this. And coming to the parental control also, you can use that. So in my case, I'm going to use the full contact. So it's going to extract everything on the device. On click on next. So you can select the time zones case IDs, case evidence number, evidence details, case notes, okay, device label, device ID, evidence number, you can write owner number, so investigator details for the further, further reference, okay. So now I want to generate the report. So we, we, we can generate report of HTML on PDF and Excel, okay. So in this case, I'm going to generate only a single PDF report. And click on next and coming to the camera ballistics it's also a very good feature i'm not going to enable it as of now uh, so if you want to search with a particular person image so like if you want to search with the icon gun the person we is holding it's only search for the gun images in the entire photos of the device okay if you want to search with the person person face it's going to search for the person face with all the images in your device okay i'm not going to enable it as of now as I don't have any much images in that device and let me click on next and you want where you want to save the file and what name you want to save that report and click on export guys you can retrieve the data whether phone is locked or unlocked 
okay all you need to do is you need a physical access to the device and the device needs to be connected to the laptop it doesn't care whether it is locked or unlocked okay so for example in my case the backup is not encrypted so if it is encrypted it will ask for pin breaker the pin breaker will automatically prompt out and we can also brute force using the numbers and the passwords common passwords by using the pin breaker it will automatically prompt in my case it's not encrypted so it's asking me to set a temporary encryption key okay so it's temporarily set to one two three and this it's going to take time okay and it's going to generate a report so i already generated a report and let's see what will be in that report so let me open that report so let's analyze the report so the first thing is the image of the device the device name device model hardware ids the password itunes backup password ama number whether it's jewel broken or not sim card information and we can find the juicy information from here and let's see the deleted data first so these are all the deleted events in my device and let's see the contacts obviously contacts will be going to be zero as it's my testing device and obviously no messages as there is no sim in that so no calls no emails if it is the device of the victim we, we can fetch that information as well okay so these are all the calendar switch or in my device and coming coming to the application analysis so let's analyze a few applications here coming to the facetime it will going to face the data like whether i have made any facetime calling or not and let's see the maps paytms everything so let's see the safari so it consists of my safari browser history so what all the history i have just made and coming to the what all the open tabs as of now and what all the web searches i have made and bookmarks i have bookmarked in my safari browser and other media files such as image caching so we can find all these things and let's take deep dive or uh, let's just take one more application twitter so let's go to the twitter and if you see uh, the logged in account is noisy hacker and its twitter id is this one and the last login is this one okay and coming to the next one let's see the whatsapp i'm going to make a separate video for the whatsapp it's a full page one so let me quickly show you what information we can see so what is the phone number i am using is this is the testing my number and this is the whatsapp number so this is the whatsapp id and coming to here i only have one chat so just to show you so we can retrieve like we can check for like sent messages received messages draft such as failed messages unknown messages and the delete messages so it's going to check for all the things so in this case here i have received a message from this number and that is that like but the image i have just image and i sent i love noisy hacker and the noisy hacker replied me with a love symbol okay and we can also see whether the whether it's reached the client or not like double ticks and if the blue thing like it's like seen so that noisy hacker seen my messages at what time so so on so time he has seen my message so at this time i have sent the message and at this time the noisy hacker viewed my message so on what it's also see we can see that stored images such as the whatsapp dps okay thumbnails what all the messages you chat you do you share in whatsapp we can also get this in juicy information here i'm going to make a complete video for this whatsapp a separate video okay and let's see the passwords so we are done with application analysis and let's see the files i'm not going to show you my files and location gps location if your gps is on so you, you can see that entire travel location of the victims so let's see the password so what all the passwords it's got from the keychain so it's got like few passwords such as my wifi password is 09876531 and the connected to plus and it some have some juicy information here so twitter data is obviously it's the data is encrypted okay so let's see what else we can find so you can take a deep dive so what all the wifi networks and the bss ids that's it so on the data extraction works okay that's it guys thank you thank you so much